Welcome to another Tea Time Show with me, Mark Tillerson. Uh, today's show is how to track affiliate links in Google Analytics. So in this show, uh, I'm going to show you just how to do that, um, how to track affiliate links in Google Analytics. Um, and that's using UTM tags, and I'm going to show you very briefly how to do that. Um, how we then look at uh, what happens with affiliate traffic within Google Analytics. Now we're able to tag those uh, that inbound traffic. Um, and then also, really important, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to measure the real value of uh, that affiliate traffic. Um, and it's a common mistake, so make sure you watch till the end of the video. As usual, if you do have questions about this or you're stuck, something isn't working, please do ask in the comments um, and please do give us a like on the video. We do appreciate it. So the first thing that we need to do is define a tagging convention. Um, so this makes sure that when you are using Google Analytics to report your affiliate uh, data, it's not an absolute mess. So we need to think about how we're going to break this down, how we're going to group data together, and how you want to report against that to create a tagging convention um, so that your reporting is sane um, and makes sense. So the tags that uh, you can add are source, medium, campaign, and keyword. Um, so the source will be the website probably or where the affiliate is uh, putting a link or it might be the name of an affiliate for example. Uh, the medium will be affiliate. So the medium is the, the kind of type of uh, traffic this is. So uh, that could be CPC, could be organic. Uh, in this case we're going to use affiliate and then these uh, clicks, these visits will end up in the affiliate bucket. Um, the campaign name is entirely up to you, uh, but something to think about with your campaign names is you might have an Easter 2020 campaign which is across multiple channels. So you might be doing an Easter promotion across your Google Ads display campaigns, it might be within your email campaigns, um, it might be within your aff affiliate campaigns as well. So you could, uh, again this is not you know, this is just a way you could use this, you don't have to use this, but you could um, create a campaign across multiple channels and all of the different uh, mediums and the different sources all use a common campaign tag and that means you can look at all of the traffic and all of the sales or all of the leads that came from that campaign across all channels and then subdivide that campaign to individual uh, channels, individual sources or mediums. Um, so you could do that. Uh, equally, you could create a unique campaign for each affiliate, but you can already track what's happening, what's coming from that affiliate uh, through the medium and the source anyway. Um, there is a keyword tag. Um, you probably don't want to use that. <clears throat> if you are using it, you're probably going to fudge something in there uh, to use that keyword label so you can report on it. So um, I have done that, but it can get a bit confusing. So I'd recommend just sticking to source, medium and campaign for this exercise. So uh, <clears throat> there is a full video on our channel, um, which I will link to for you. Um, but broadly, this is how you make up a URL uh, for uh, an affiliate link. So you would put your uh, domain name in here, forward slash question mark. Question mark is important. If you don't put that in, it will break. Uh, UTM underscore source equals, and then put the name of the affiliate or the site, whatever you want this to report against. So uh, remember, this is effectively you pushing data into Google Analytics so you can report on it later. So you can put uh, UTM source equals uh, my dad's clicks. You could do that. It's going to look pretty stupid on your report, but you define this. Um, it's not automatically picked up from the site where it comes from. The next part is <clears throat> uh, UTM underscore medium. So we have UTM underscore source equals affiliate.com. Ampersand, this is important again, so this is another parameter UTM underscore medium equals affiliate, and all of your affiliate links should have this medium and use that word with exactly that spelling. Um, and then the next one is ampersand UTM underscore campaign equals Easter 2020. 
So effectively, you could have, um, uh, let's say you've got five links that you are sharing with your, um, uh, with your affiliates, could be any number, but whatever pages your, affiliate are link, uh, your affiliates are linking to, they need to append question mark UTM underscore source and the medium and the campaign tag. So if you're providing a list of uh, five links to them, what I would recommend is you get the full path of the link uh, to the page that you want them to send traffic to with the UTM tag on the end. If you are giving your, your affiliate the freedom to link to any page on your website, then uh, they just need everything from question mark onwards and they just append those to the, uh, to the URLs they're sending traffic to. So now that we have our affiliate tracking links configured and we're starting to generate some clicks, um, you don't need to do anything in Google Analytics, by the way, uh, because those UTM tags are pushing data into Google Analytics and revealing the source of that traffic. So once you start getting that traffic, um, what you need to do is head into your Google Analytics account, head into acquisition, all traffic, and then start with source and medium. And then what you will start to see is you will start to see uh, the source that you put in your affiliate tracking link and the word affiliate in here. So equally, we can look at uh, just straight to medium. And then we can see in here, we've got our CPC traffic, that's paid traffic, we've got organic, and we can start to see, here's our affiliate traffic, and we can see the attributed data here um, in terms of the number of users, new users, sessions, bounce rate, and so forth, um, goal value if you're an e-commerce store, number of leads, conversion rate, all of that for all of your affiliate traffic. Um, equally, if you were using a campaign tag, you could just show that same data for a campaign. And as I said before, if your campaign is across multiple channels, it would show all, uh, all traffic associated with the campaign name, whether it's affiliate or email or anywhere else. Um, and you can start to break that down there. Equally, um, just going back to Medium, if we then looked at affiliate traffic, um, we can then break that down by source that will pick this up from your source tags. Um, so this should then give you a list of each of the affiliate sites or each of the affiliates you're working for, uh, working with, sorry, and um, how much traffic they are referring to you in, within a given period, um, the bounce rate, the pages per session, the goal completions, and the goal value. However, something to, that is really important in here uh, that you need to understand is um, attribution models. Again, there is a full video on this on our channel, uh, which I will link to, to help you understand that. Um, but just very briefly, how we need to look at this information is if we head into conversions, multi-channel funnels, and then we need to look at the model comparison tool. So very quickly, uh, what happens with most of your traffic is people will click from uh, multiple different sources and channels. So let's say that you are using an affiliate uh, channel um, to raise awareness of your product, to try and drive some sales or try and drive some leads. Now, what happens is that might be the first interaction with your business, with your website, but that person, uh, perhaps you're running a Google Ads remarketing campaign and that user comes back through a remarketing ad um, and then converts from there. So the data we looked at first of all uh, with this, this is last non-direct click attribution. So this is saying if the last click was from this source or from this medium, it gets the credit for a goal completion. However, we know that affiliate traffic might start, a convert, start the process for a conversion, but that conversion might happen on the last click, which might be a Google Ads remarketing click or an organic brand search, and then they uh, then that user converts. So we need to give more credit to your affiliate um, uh, affiliate visits um, than last click because that's not the whole picture. So if we look at the uh, model comparison tool, this is using a last interaction model um, and this is saying, uh, let's have a look, so if we do uh, medium in here, then we can see here is our affiliate and we've had one conversion. 
Okay, that's not fantastic. Again, you could break this down by source or source medium, and you could look at the individual affiliates or the individual sites that are referring traffic to you. However, this is the important thing. If we change this attribution model to last interaction, uh, from last interaction to uh, first interaction, so this is attributing the conversions to the first interaction, again, we just get that one conversion from uh, affiliates. If we look at linear, so what this does is divides the conversion by the number of clicks that created that conversion. So if someone clicks an affiliate link, then a remarketing click, uh, then each of those sources and mediums will get 50% of the value. So what this reveals is that affiliate traffic is actually delivering more value than we first thought. That's why this is really important. So actually, if we look at the linear conversion value, or conversions, we've actually got 2.43 conversions from that affiliate traffic, which is a lot more than we first thought when we talked about um, last interaction. And you can compare the two. So if we just compare linear there, okay, so we can now see that affiliate with our last interaction was only getting one conversion. But if we look at it, at it in a linear way, it's actually 143% more valuable in this period than we were originally reporting, and Google Analytics will normally report. Um, so actually, we've got 2.43. So what's happening is it looks like our traffic is coming from affiliates and then leaving and then coming back through an unknown medium. This is probably a site issue. Uh, that's a whole other video for another day. But this is probably uh, the way the website works. Uh, traffic is probably leaving and coming back um, and, and and that where that traffic is going to and coming back. So it might be they've gone off, off the site to make a payment and then return to the website. And it's where that's... Um, where that traffic is coming back to. So uh, there's an issue there maybe with the analytics configuration in this particular case. Um, but again, if you're having problems like that, then do comment in, uh, in, in the comments and, and we'll try and help you out or contact us via tillerson.co.uk. Um, we do a lot of coaching and consultancy with Google Analytics to help you work out these problems. So I'm sure we can help you solve those. <clears throat> Um, so make sure you subscribe for more videos on Google Analytics. Um, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, we do appreciate your feedback.